uh, I started off sharpening the blades for the 52 and I was just going to go over uh, what happens after a little bit of use and when you start sharpening what it looks like. Okay, I've run this across the grinder a few times and I don't know if you can see that because the light's all messing everything up here. Um, when I run this across the grinder a few times you can see where the grinder was hitting up in here and then where there's a spot that the grinder hasn't gotten to. This was ground at a 35 degree angle um, and now I'm re-grinding it again and it shows you how much it's wore and what changes on the angle of the blade. I try to keep the the blades uh, fairly decent shape. Uh, these were blades that were used uh, towards the end of the season. I used them uh, in a, quite a few cleanups before I changed the blades for the last uh, few weeks there, for the last two weeks I guess it was. I just want to finish sharpening these blades up and then I'll be changing them out on the 52. One thing about picking up leaves in the fall, this is all I had left in there, stuck in there, just a bunch of old chopped up leaves. So I never had a chance to clean this up before a winter setting because that was leaf removal one day, snow plowing the next. Since I have this up in here, I might as well grease everything again. Now the pain in the butt ones. this plate I just hit it with a hammer a little bit trying to see if I could bend it and it does as it is knock it loose so I have to get that off and get it straightened out because it's yeah because there's a, a nice gap right in there and all that grass clippings and everything comes flying out of here so I have to get this straightened out and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but this bolt is sitting a little bit crooked so that means this deck is bent right here so I have to straighten that up too so let's get this pulled off. I 
as you can see it's uh, pretty well bent up so I'm going to do my best to straighten it up uh, there we go see that's a little bit bent um, this is twisted so I'm going to have to twist it and straighten it out so this is going to take a little bit of pain in the butt working I guess Okay, I got rid of the twist pretty good. So let's see if we can. Now, this part, um, looking at it, it should be, this part should be lower than this when you're looking across. And it's not. So I have to bend that down. You know it's a little bit, I think it should work, so let's bolt it up and see what happens. Still a little bit off here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that up tighter. Let's see if I can do. So there's a nice gap here, and there should not be a gap there. Big gap here, so. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to take it off and try it again. What I did is I stuck this end in a vise and I just brought this end up a little bit and hopefully that'll take care of the gap. Okay, that closed up the gap a little bit more. There's still a little bit of a gap there, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that because after the first couple cuts, this is just going to be plugged right shut. It should not be a problem. Okay, with the front of the old mo the whole mower is all done. Everything's greased. The blades are sharpened. The brackets are changed. Uh, I got to get this star turned around so I can get uh, the clamshell adjusted. Okay, with this clamshell, there's a couple things going on. Uh, this is all bent up right in here. More than likely, that is from when run into probably a fence post. 
There's one yard that's got a chain link fence. It's about that height there was where the pipes are. So I'm thinking that's probably what happened. And then I got to get rid of this gap. So if I could stick my finger in there, there's a lot of debris that comes out and it sprays all over everywhere. And I just don't like the way it looks. And I don't want to leave debris all over people's yards either. Or their sidewalks. So I just have to loosen all these bolts up from inside. That means I gotta open this up and I don't know what's all in there so we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, that's a mess. Still some leaves in there. Okay, looking at it, it's fairly even here as it is over here. It's about the same gap from here as it is here. So right here, there's a plate out there. I'm just going to have to bend that in. So I think it looks like it's bowed out to me. Okay, let's see if I can push this on this. push in on this to get it bent without hitting it, making more of a mess. It's about the best I'm going to be able to get to that. There's going to be a little bit of a gap there, but there's nothing I can do about it. Almost like there needs to be a plate on the inside. Same thing here. So if this keeps spreading out, I'll probably end up putting a plate on the inside just to help stiffen that side up there so it doesn't bend anymore. Okay, I got everything done on this more that I wanted to get done. It's all back together. You can see the hose is all hooked up and everything. The ring's all greased and ready to go. Now I just need uh, some uh, dry yards and the end of this winter season to get over. It's been in the 50s for the past two days and we got about an inch of rain I think it was. And then today it's in the 30s again, and it's supposed to snow again in uh, about four more days, but it's just a chance of snow, so I don't think we're going to get any snow at all the rest of the season. We might get one more storm, that's about it. It's like 32 degrees out right now. This is the coldest day it's supposed to be for the next 10 days, and it's all going to be right around 40 degrees, so it should get all the snow all melted off. Yeah, there's still some snow quite a bit, few areas yet, but most of it all should be gone in the next 10 days. And then if we get a little bit of snow after that, I don't think it's going to stick around. So this has been kind of unusual winter for us because I went from uh, leaf cleanup to snow removal the next day. And actually my leaf cleanup was just to blow off some leaves so the grass wouldn't be dead for in the spring. And I was blowing snow and leaves off. I had a friend of mine helping me out on that. And I don't think I'll have maybe one more plow video out the rest of the season. It's just going to be uh, repair videos on what I have. And the lawnmowers are all done. And the next one, next repair to come in is the trailer. And I'm going to need a, a little bit warmer weather because the door is going to have to be open because my trailer will not fit in my garage. So uh, it's going to be... I'm going to need 45, 50 degrees that day when I'm working up. Uh, last spring I changed the mesh on the, on the tailgate because it was just bad and I went with the heavier mesh on it. And I have not painted that yet so I have to get a quarter paint and get that painted. And I have to weld up the sides because they're all kind of wobbling around and getting some boards changed around and rebuild the toolbox. So hopefully uh, next week it will be warm enough for me to do that. So in the next few videos, uh, like I said, I'm not sure when they're going to be out. Uh, it may be a week or two, I don't know, it depends on the weather. 
Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long. Hopefully I can at least put one or two out a week. Depends on uh, what is going on through the week and how many more repairs I have to do, which is not very many repairs. So as soon as all of the snow is gone, I will be starting to go around and uh, putting the sod back that got peeled back from early uh, winter and I want to get that all back and in, in place and that way the grass can start growing back to where it needs to be so I don't have to do as much on the uh, um, seeding in the spring here when things start growing so depends on when this weather stays where it is hopefully we can get started here in about two to three weeks depends on what's going to happen here but uh, normally we don't get started till about April 15th somewhere around in there, it's usually about where we start. You know, 15th to 25th, somewhere in there. We start in them 10 days and if we cannot get started till after that, it's a scramble. We end up working seven days a week just trying to get caught up on everything that has to be done. So this is gonna be the last video on the lawnmower maintenance because the more maintenance is all done. So next video is probably just gonna be the trailer repair. So everybody have a good evening and we will see you at the next yard.